NFL action for Sunday from Frankfurt, Germany. It's the Dolphins and the Chiefs. Well, I mean, why not put your best game of the season in another country? You're going to move the Super Bowl to London. Might as well practice here in Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, we would like to see this game. And look, I mean, we didn't well, no, we didn't know. I mean, everybody said the Dolphins would be pretty okay this year, pretty decent, right? They looked good. The Chiefs are a Super Bowl contender. Well, I guess, you know, in Germany, you don't go to Germany very often. Um, I want to say they played I – mean, this might be the second game in Germany. I don't think it's the third game. Let me see. I think I have that here in this. Um, I think I have it here. Uh, the Germany factor. <laughs> uh, it's not the only game in Germany this season. I mean, they'll play one more. It's next week. They'll be the Patriots and the Colts. So two games in Germany at the Allianz Arena in Munich. Um, or uh, no, uh, no, I'm sorry. It's in Frankfurt. I just said that, didn't I? Frankfurt. Uh Munich was last year, so both these games will be played at the Deutsche Bank Park. That's what it is. The Deutsche Bank Park here and the Chiefs. No problem, Brent. Um, I just do it because, uh, you know, I like to have some videos in advance and promote some of the picks and everything. So we just do. That's why we, that's why we do some of my weekend games in advance and Tony does them in advance. So no problem, brother. Great job today. Uh, of course, this is this. Uh, uh, if you're a local, you you're headed out to the Wal uh there in uh, Frankfurt. But uh, so far, the London games went 0 and 3 to the under, and the overseas games over the last seven years are now at 9 and 17 to the under. And these totals are always just uh, so, so high. But uh, there's no doubt that uh, the last five, let's see, the last five NFL neutral site games, so this includes um, – the overseas games, but it also includes, I believe I have one that was a game that was moved. I'd have to research. I only have the list of games here, but uh, the last five that have had a total of 49 or higher have gone four and one to the under. So I don't think Taylor Swift, Mike, is going to be traveling uh, to... Uh, Germany for this one, right? Although I don't know, maybe she, maybe it is. Maybe, wouldn't that be something? I mean, she is a world traveler. I mean, it's not hard for her to get up and go to Germany. It wouldn't be like uh, me going uh, to Germany. It'd be, a, I'm sure, a traumatic experience at this point. So, uh, anyways, let me get to a little pick action here. Uh, the Chiefs, look, uh, the line here down to one. Um, there were some lines that had Chiefs a little bit higher than this, even on the look ahead for sure. Uh, had Chiefs maybe as high as a four and a half, five, maybe even a six point favorite in the earliest look aheads before um, maybe a slight uh, slip here for the Chiefs to a certain extent. But looks like the Sharps want to continue to pound uh, Miami here. And Seems like a pretty, you know, I don't know. I kind of, uh, there's one factor. I don't know if anybody's looking at this like we did in the other games, but um, the Dolphins, they're, they're there. The Chiefs, I think they're going today. So the Dolphins have been there. They're, you know, waiting. They're prepping. And the Chiefs, we saw what happened, right, when the team comes in at the last moment, they got beat. Remember Jacksonville and Buffalo came in at the last minute? So I don't know if that's my angle, 
but I, you know, I already kind of want to take a shot with the Dolphins, and I'd rather do it on this neutral field. You know, sharps are all Dolphins. There's no, I don't think there's any getting around it. I don't know, you know, I'm supposed to know who the sharps are on. Do you think that the sharps, whoever they may be, when we when we talk about sharps, we're just basically trying to categorize winning NFL betters. We don't know who they are. They don't advertise themselves. But we can look at line movement a little bit of going against the grain. There's no problem here. The, the Dolphins aren't an unpopular pick, certainly, uh, even with the general public. While this game may be a toss-up, I don't know. Let me see what the... Uh, yeah, the ticket count to me, I'm showing it um, mostly in favor of Kansas City. In fact, it looks pretty heavy as far as the uh, uh, spread is concerned, maybe because of the cheaper price. But I want Miami in this game. I'm taking Miami to win the game. Uh, probably on the under, too. I don't get it, Mike, with Taylor Swift's age. Is that the uh, total? No, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to make a funny out of that, but I can't figure it out. Okay, give me the Dolphins here uh, with, uh, you know, this situation with the travel. I mean, it really has me concerned that these teams are not making the right decision uh, when going over there right now. You have the Dolphins, Mostert, he's active. I mean, it doesn't matter who the Dolphins are throwing out there at running back, these guys are all terrific. It just seems like they just, um, you know, there's got to be something. You know, when you see, like, players, like uh, multiple players in one role excelling, like they are, yeah, the, the Dolphins have some outside weapons that other teams don't have for sure, and they have a quarterback that throws a pretty – Good, but when the Dolphins are getting to the outside with their with these speedy running backs a little bit, with a lot of sometimes misdirection, uh, you know who that is. You know who that is. That's our guy, Lo uh, Coach Logic, uh, working it all together. So I don't know. He looked a little go goofy in that last interview, but I uh, hope he's you know got everything under control because right now he's got the uh, world on his shoulder, a uh, world. He's on top of the world, Coach Logic, and the Dolphins here in good position. One of the best games of the season is going to be played at uh, 9.30 in the morning Eastern, 6.30 Pacific, and we've got to sit through all these – can I say it, Tony? I, we've got to sit through all these shitty games on, on Thursday night and you know Sunday night and even Monday night, and here we are basically 6.30 on the West Coast, and, uh, you know – there are some other matchups that maybe you could call the matchup of the season, but when you think of these two offenses, this is what you want to be watching, right? And the Dolphins and the Chiefs. Uh, you want to watch this more than the Buffalo and the Chiefs uh, or the Bengals, right? Because of the Dolphins' uh, spectacular offense right now. So, well, I don't know what these guys are doing, and it's hard to plan things a year in advance. I get that, or six months in advance, whatever, and uh, they want to put some good teams over there, but... Sure feels like, and I'll be, uh, we'll be up, well, you know where we'll be, we'll be right here on the air on Sunday, uh, at least throughout the first quarter. I mean, we'll be off the air early if we can uh, for that one. Want to at least get into the second half and enjoy it. So let's take the, I'm going to take the Dolphins here. 